Uh, Jane and I want to try to describe the state of a marriage that has done the work and uh, gotten to that place where it's just arrived at uh, a good marriage, uh, or a great marriage, as it's entitled in one of my books, A Good Husband, Great Marriage. So we want to try to describe a great marriage. Uh, so, well, <laughs> so now that, well the first thing about a great marriage is where the husband is not afraid to turn to the wife and say, what do you think, or what do you feel, or what's going on in your mind, is to, part of being in a great marriage is to just show interest in in you, which is new. Not for, for you. Well, not for me, but for the culture. Yeah, right. right. So anyways, what do you yeah. think? Yeah. When I think of the kind of words that come to my mind are, you know, ease, um, affection, friendliness, liking, liking the other person. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's really important. Right. Um, because that remember when you when you're a kid, it's like does so and so like somebody else? That was the word you always used to use, or at least in my generation yeah. we used it. And um, I really like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the third grade yeah. sense of it, and yeah. and in the you know, in that one or sixties <laughs> sense of it. You know. Right, right. Um, Bobby likes Jane. I'm glad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. And. Um, We've come to trust each other, and we've come to rely on each other um, as a kind of a confidant, uh, an advisor. Um, we've Fellow opened, comedian. Yeah. yeah we well, keep, we, we make yeah, each keep other each other laugh. laughing. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Well, you're very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So. So you say more about what. It is. Well, in our, also in our particular case, we grew up in the 60s and uh, we still have, now we're in our 60s, and um, we still have that kind of uh, 60s coolness that uh, drew us together in the first place. And uh, it's still there and, and um, that's great. Yeah. Right. Uh, what I like also is that we have certain things that we're, we're both on the same page about what we both love, mm -hmm. you know, um, like the water, you know, right. and swimming right. and just being at the beach and right. being on the water. And, um, and then we have things that are just very different, you know, you're much more introverted than I am and I'm more outgoing, I like to go out and I like to have friends and I like to meet with people and take walks. And, My social calendar you know. would not exist without you. Right. 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 But, but I'm grateful for yeah. it because we have great friends, you know, it's like, that's, yeah. And I like that we, you know, can do both, that mm -hmm. we, can, we can have both, that we can let each other be, and that we can also come together in ways that, you know... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't sit through a baseball game for nine innings. No, no, right. I, I know. Right. We had to leave <laughs> we had to, <laughs> the other day. We had to leave the fifth <laughs> inning, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, and I like that about you, that that's one of the things that's really um, changed. It's just, right. you know, like so much of... Of, of your anger is just disappeared mm -hmm. um, and just acceptance and uh, well, yeah, I don't and know if I, I, I'm that way too but I think I think part of what the, the change I've made and part of great marriage in my theories about marriage mm -hmm. is when the husband as I am is basically living in a state of surrender mm -hmm. to you and it's not that we surrender from weakness as a, uh, Sage once said that you don't surrender from weakness, you surrender from strength. And since the power struggle is over between us, mostly, um, it's fine to mm -hmm. surrender. And, and it's, it's great. Yeah. yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah um, when I talk about surrender uh, to you, I know if I do this in my therapy office and there's certain guys who are kind of looking at me and it's like, what about me? Um, so my grand theory of woman, although you tell me this is somewhat sexist, but uh, my grand theory of woman is that they're essentially givers. And, you know, me with my language stuff, it's like they, they give milk, they give birth, they're given away, they give their hand in marriage. Um, they're a gift. But the thing about women that men need to realize is that women are givers back. So when 
my, my whole thinking is based on when the man gives what the woman wants, he will get back what he wants, including sex. And so the whole what about me thing disappears there completely because you're going to get back everything the me that you that you are wants. Yeah. Well, I, I would have to testify that once, you know, you changed in the ways that made me feel safe and, uh, you know, validated and listened to and uh, just sort of a bigger part of the picture than things started out to be, then I really wanted to be mm -hmm. more giving toward you. I mean, right. I, I agree. I mean, I... I wasn't fighting you mm -hmm. so much anymore, and I wanted to give you what you needed. Right. I want, you know, and I could, and as you sort of let down your guard and let me see what you needed, then you know I was able to respond to that, and I wanted to. I want to respond to that. Right. I think that's really the key. Right. And when you when you mention the word fight, um, I think the fight stopped between us when I decided to stop fighting. And um, what I tell men, and kept telling myself, is you go first. Just go first. See what happens. And it's an, in a way, it's an experiment which completely worked out here. Mm -hmm. uh, and my book is about that experiment. Take that. You go first. You make the change. And then women are givers back. See what happens. But also, in so many cases, I mean, this isn't all always true, but in so many cases, women feel and have been and are oppressed. So the oppressed, they're not going to stop fighting until mm -hmm. the you're oppression supposed to fight. lifts. You're supposed to right, fight. right, right. You're, you're right. You're fighting, you know, for your life in a sense. Right. And you're yeah. not going to stop fighting until that goes away. Right. And so I think you're right. Yeah, when that went away, it's like a no-brainer. Yeah, very good. Okay. So the fight's over. That's the state of a great marriage. Yeah. The fight's over. <laughs>